Today we're going to look at even and odd numbers. As always, this is Dusty Jones. To start off, just to get our minds fresh, I want you to write the first few positive even numbers and the first few positive odd numbers. You ought to get something that looks like this. With the evens, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. With the odds, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, and so on. I'd like to look at these numbers uh, the way the Greeks did. The Greeks thought about numbers geometrically and often represented numbers as geometric arrangements of objects. And so for the even numbers, uh, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 represented here by circles. They could be counters or pebbles or something. But the thing I want you to notice is that the even numbers are represented by um, two columns uh, that have the same number of things. So we could think of these as rectangles uh, that are even across the top there. Symbolically, uh, we could represent the even numbers as 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, uh, where it's 2 times the number of objects in a column. So in general, we can write an even number in the form 2 times n where n is a natural number. Or stated another way, if k is an even integer, then k is going to equal 2 times n for some natural number n. Let's do the same sort of things with odd numbers. Uh, pictorially, we can have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And these sort of look like the even numbers. Um, but something's been taken away. Uh, so 1 could be 2 times 1, the even number 2, minus 1. And 3 would be 2 times 2, minus 1. And 5 would be 2 times 3, minus 1. In general, odd numbers can be written in the form 2 times n, minus 1, where n is a natural number. Or stated another way, if k is an odd integer, then k is 2 times n minus 1 for some natural number n. Some exercises here. If k is 12, if you, if 12 since 12 is an integer, what's n? If k is 37, what's n? What's the 19th odd number? What's the 6th even number? The 25th even number and the 144th odd number? There's another way to represent odd numbers symbolically, and that would be uh, seeing that as an even number plus 1. So 1 is 2 times 0 plus 1. 3 is 2 times 1 plus 1. 5 is 2 times 2 plus 1. Now instead of seeing a rectangle with having 1 removed, we're seeing a, a different rectangle with 1 added. So another way we could state this is if k is an odd number, then k is 2 times n plus 1 for some whole number n. Before it was an integer, now I have to use the whole numbers because I involve this 0 here to get 1. We can represent even and odd numbers using integers instead of natural numbers or whole numbers. So we could say if k is an even number, then k is 2 times n for some integer n. Or if k is an odd number, uh, then k is 2 times n minus 1 for some integer n. Uh, this allows us to classify 0 and the negative integers as either even or odd. So for example, if we wanted to say is negative 4 even or odd, negative 4 would be 2 times negative 2, therefore negative 4 is an even integer. I'd like for you to make and prove some conjectures. Uh, the first one is, is 0 even or odd? And I'd like for you to use a symbolic, an algebraic representation to prove your answer. Uh, I'd also like for you to determine if the sum of two even numbers is even or odd. And the same with the sum of two odd numbers, an even and an odd. And I'd like for you to use pictorial representations, those things the Greeks would use with the columns of dots, to prove your answers 
2, 2, 3, and 4. And here are some answers to the exercises.